Bison Consolidated Berhad is planning to strengthen its presence by opening more outlets over the next three years. However, is that too optimistic given that the economy is slack and GSC is a drag? Let's find out more from its Managing Director, Dang Tai Luke. We know that economy is bad and GST is still a drag in the economy after implementation last year. And uh, Bison is planning to open more outlets with 36 million ringgit allocating for, for expanding its outlet in Malaysia for the next three years. Do you think it's sustainable? Do you think Bison is being more, too optimistic? Our product is broad range. We cater for a wide range uh, of consumers, uh, diverse. Our, our prices uh, is uh, inelastic. So um, if you walk into our store, we sell small value items and uh, I think uh, moving forward uh, this business is, is sustainable and if you, if you look uh, across uh, the uh, convenience sector, mm. uh, Malaysia has a low penetration rate, un under penetrated. Uh, we have only uh, 135 stores per million people. but in other countries, even in Thailand, they are, they are higher than us. In Singapore, they are higher than us. If you, if you travel to uh, Germany, they have 900 over stores per million people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's a big room to grow in Malaysia. Uh, new transportation hubs that is coming out, LRTs, extended lines, MRTs, uh, more uh, commercial developments, uh, all these factors uh, require uh, convenience. Mm -hmm. And we have seen double-digit sales growth over the past two years. Do you expect the same trend happening this year? Uh, we are confident uh, to keep the trend. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, uh, we opened 40, 41 outlets uh, last year. Uh, so this year we will expect uh, the new stores to enjoy a full year uh, mm. revenue. Our plan is to, is to open uh, from now until uh, October 31st, uh, 2017 uh, because our year end uh, is 31st October. Uh, we plan to open uh, 115 outlets. So the publishing sector is said, said to be a sunset industry. Are you planning to you know, change your product mix in, this, in, in, in your business? We have actually changed. We are, we are continually changing. Hmm. Uh, as you know, we started off with a pure bread newsstand. We will, we will call a, a newsstand. Uh, along the way, we have already transformed ourselves to a hybrid store. In fact, uh, uh, we are uh, magazines is, is magazine press uh, is no longer the major category of our right, business. Right. Uh, we started off with uh, 80 90 percent uh, uh, press products. Now we are uh, yep. even cool. lower than 10 percent. Right, you see, uh, you started off with 80, 80 90 percent over press uh, products. But the thing is, your logo, MyNews.com, still carry the name News. So are you going to rebrand or are you going to change the name of MyNews.com? Mm. Even though the product is declining, we are still the largest press retailer in the country. And the brand works well for us. Uh, it's a household brand. Uh, we continue to carry it. Uh, so in, in FY15 last year, Food and beverage contributed about 37.2%, yes. tobacco about 35%. Yes. So how are you operating the business when the margins is so low? I acknowledge that the, the, the margin for tobacco is low, it's um, about uh, 8, or 9, 8 or 9%. But if you look across uh, the, the other categories of our product, uh, for example, uh, food and beverages, uh, the margin range from 36 to 41%. Uh, uh, our consumer services uh, is a hundred percent because we, we take commissions. Uh, the uh, press products uh, is about is from thirty to thirty one percent. So uh, taking all that into consideration, we average about uh, twenty five to twenty seven percent margin, which is mm. which is uh, pretty good. So your subscription rate was at six point seven four times, and but given that Bison's retail portion 
uh, it's at about 22.5% if you compare with the entire uh, and large shares capital. So do you think the oversubscription rate is low at this point in time? Um, it is at 6.94 uh, mm -hmm. times. Uh, I do not know what is low, but um, uh, looking against the backdrop of the current economic sentiment, uh, we are happy with the oversubscription. I think, I, think, I think it is good, it is positive. We saw that BPT profit before tax and profit after tax margins have been declining since 2013. And how are you planning to reverse the trend? Um, the answer lies with product mix. Uh, we have a very strong uh, merchandising, merchandising department that, that continually uh, improve our product mix and, and product margin. So uh, going forward, uh, we are going to do the same. It's going to be, going to be the same. Uh, continual improvement in product margins, in uh, uh, SKUs, the most sellable ones. So we, we saw it from your prospectors and inventory day has been increasing as well. Uh, how are you going to decrease your inventory day? The, the inventory days uh, is increased because of our new opening throughout the year. Mm. The, the, the stock up is necessary for new stores. Uh, for, for example, uh, since our prospectus launch, that was on March the 4th until now, uh, we have uh, added about five stores. So uh, that is uh, nece necessary. But if you look at our system, the one that I, uh, the system that I, I, I mentioned previously, uh, we have a comprehensive an integrated system that monitors our uh, inventory, logistic, warehousing, uh, frontline operations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all tightly controlled and uh, we actually run a very lean uh, uh, mm -hmm. operation. And are you planning to have a franchise system for, for the investors? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not part of our IPO plan, mm -hmm. but uh, we have submitted a, uh, the application for purchasing permit with the government mm. uh, last March. Uh, we understand that we will uh, improve our, our exposure, our market share, yeah. 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 and uh, even uh, recurring income. But mm -hmm. if it takes place, it will be on top of the uh, IPO plan. So a couple of weeks ago, TA Research, they came up with a report, they say that the stock is overpriced. Their fair value was at 92 cents and your price is 1 ringgit 10 cents. So what's your view on, on this? If you look at uh, the report of uh, all the six analysts uh, that came out in the market, uh, TA is the only one that uh, prices below 110. Uh, I think there's a, a consensus that uh, our price is fair. We are talking about uh, 25 times uh, based on our historic, historical uh, record that was, uh, again, 31st October 2015. Um, if, you, if you benchmark us against the other operators uh, in this country or in this region, uh, even based on the historical records, we are priced at a discount. Bison is confident of its 1 ringgit 10 cent IPO price, even as some analysts might call it expensive. Now it's time for the market to decide whether they believe Bison's story matches its price.